Hey friends, this is Mansur Suhail from my learning center. Welcome to this mini course of Harness the Power of Leadership. In this mini course, I will walk you through all the 14 modules of the course. So let's start. Module 1. You need to know these 10 things about leadership. To be a successful leader, you must be open and honest with your team and with your audience. We'll talk about accountability. Leadership isn't about you. In order to succeed as a leader, you must always be open to new ideas and new ways of thinking. Make sure you have solid working connections with your followers. If you want your institution to succeed, you need to cultivate a culture of optimism and positivity. Make timely and well-informed judgments as a leader. Emotional intelligence is a necessary for a leader. If you make a mistake, don't feel bad about it. Power of Leadership, Module 2. So what do we cover in this module? Five signs you are meant to lead. So these are the five signs. You can speak out when there is something to say. People look up to you for advice. You recognize and nurture the potential of others. You are innovative and non-conformist. You have great mental tenacity. Module three talks about habits of great leaders. So here are the habits of great leaders. They are organized. They take responsibility. They stay focused. They read a lot. They are authentic. They value their team. They are confident without being arrogant. Module 4. Seven mistakes every leader should avoid. So what are those mistakes? To err is human, so goes an old aphorism. Thinking they know it all. Taking shortcuts. Not giving feedback. Lack of vision and focusing on the short term. Recruiting the wrong people. And not working on themselves. We discuss when situations call for someone to lead in module 5. When it comes to leadership, the truth is that we are all leaders in our own right. In instances where leadership is required, don't be hesitant to take the reins. In module 6, we discuss five important roles of a leader. It is more effective when managers interact with their employees on a level comparable to the ones they manage. You must ensure that team members are allowed adequate time and space to do their work without interruption. It is important to remember that not everyone will agree with your decisions. Decision making is still your responsibility once you have requested other contributions. If you have a clear vision of where your organization is headed and the required or necessary steps to get there, you may be a visionary. In order to find out if your strategy is good enough at each implementation stage, you should run the checks. Module 7. We talk about true leadership can save a sinking ship. Leadership according to Kevin Cruz, is a process of social influence that maximizes the efforts of others towards a goal. There are numerous ways to become a better leader, but the most essential thing to remember is that, like with any relationship, you must first understand the people you are leading and the needs they have. Motivating others is easier when you know what they need and what they are aiming for, so you can help them achieve their goals. 
people's perceptions of whether they can trust you in a crisis are shaped by how you treat your co-workers on a regular basis. Moving on to module 8. Accept the call to move up. Moving up is a chance to grow. Growth is what separates us as individuals. We often look at those that inspire us and wonder how they overcame such adversity to be where they are. We all have the chance to achieve in greatness by saying yes to moving up. The thing though is that whether you are born great, achieve greatness or greatness is thrust upon you, there will never be a time where greatness will walk to you. And the topic of module 9 is do not manage, lead. Leadership is not always about managing people or pulling rank. It is about sharing the vision and leading the way, inspiring others to follow. It is important for any leader to understand how to communicate that vision clearly to ensure maximum participation from all parties involved. Managers rely on their position. Leaders rely on their influence. Leadership is all about serving others, not yourself. So no matter how we define leadership, we should remember that people are chosen to lead for a variety of reasons. Exactly what it means to say that leadership is all about serving the community. If you are in a position of authority, what can you do to help? To that end, here are some suggestions. As a leader, you face the risk of being enamored of your own authority. Module 11. Become a leader by putting others before you. If you want to be in charge, you have to serve. And if you want to be first, you have to serve all. It's impossible that this is the case at all. The truest sign of leadership. Why should others look up to you as a leader? Give folks your ear and empower your employees. Module 12 discusses styles of leadership. So here are some styles of leadership. Transformational leadership, autocratic leadership, delegated leadership, servant leadership, transactional leadership, and situational leadership. So let's move on to module 13. All you need to know about leadership training. How serious is leadership training? We discuss how can leadership training help you? How seriously should you take leadership training? What fields require leadership training? And module 14 is the last module of this course that talks about step-by-step -step guide to becoming a better leader. So these are the steps. Have faith in yourself. Broaden your horizons and sharpen your skills. Improve your communication abilities. Have a clear vision. Don't be afraid to take a responsibility. Surround yourself with a fantastic group of people. Be adaptable and inventive. Recognize your limitations. Maintain your modesty. Becoming a great leader is a process. So thank you very much folks for taking the time to view this mini course about harness the power of leadership. To conclude, I ask you to join our Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here are all the links where you can join the Facebook group. There is a link for YouTube channel. You can also grab your free eBooks and your free video courses. Links are present over here. You can look at these links and you can download your free eBooks and free video courses. And to buy your eBooks and HD video courses, I have also provided the links. 
Thank you once again.